you mentioned uh, renewable energy, and obviously you are you <coughs> you have been a proponent of renewable energy, clean energy, for many years. When you were in the legislature I have, here, there's no doubt about it. I have a, I have actually a right to stand in front of wind turbines, unlike a lot of people running for office. You do have a right to do, to do that. That's, that's correct. Um, I'm not right. I noticed, though, I, I, I noticed though during this campaign and 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 on your website, you you talk about your desire to promote a, a diverse portfolio of energy sources, and and you include nuclear in that. Yeah, and I, I just wonder when when did you become a convert to nuclear power? I became. A, you have you have always opposed the Yucca Mountain I have. repository. Have yeah, you not? I have. And you oppose reprocessing, I assume. Yeah, it's certainly the the reprocessing of the really highly enriched materials. Mm -hmm. When I when I well, this, of the type that's done in France and Japan, yeah. and other and other countries that devote you know manage to get sixty to eighty to eighty five percent yeah. of their electricity from nuclear power. I think in a broader sense, and I know you'll give me a minute, and if I, if, I, if you don't, I, I'll take it anyway. I'll talk about what you all know about me is I'm pragmatic. Uh, I'm not an ideologue. I work with everybody. I'm, I'm looking for solutions, and that's certainly how I'm going to serve in the Senate. Particularly if you think about, I've represented about 600,000 people. It'll be 4.5, 4.8 .4 million if I get hired on, on Election Day. But as, I, as I've done the reading I've done and the listening I do, and and the research that's important to being an effective member of the Congress, and as I've uh, been convinced completely that climate change is real, and as I've looked at the national security threats that we face because of our dependence on foreign oil, and as you look at the events that um, have consumed us, so whether it's uh, Chavez's uh, reach into Colombia or his encouragement of Morales in Bolivia, or you look at what happened in Georgia, uh, and my interest in, in electrification and electric motors, I know you and I agree that, the, that that's where we're going to head. Uh, and if you want to reduce carbon emissions, you've got to put, you've got to put nuclear back in the mix. You, you just have to. As much as uh, some people want to wave a wand and say it's all renewables mm -hmm. and all conservation, uh, you have to put nuclear back in the mix. Now, so, it has this to is, so this is an evolution? In it's an evolution, yeah. Over the past 10 yeah. years, probably. Yeah. and, and uh, uh, and, and I've been clear about that during this campaign, and of course I've gotten some pushback. Now it has to compete on, on a fair basis, and that's that's easy to say, harder to figure out how you do that because there, as you know, hidden subsidies in, in all of our energy technologies, including oil and gas and coal. Uh, external costs uh, I think are legitimate concerns, uh, and 